Welcome everyone to another observability clinic. It's part of the Dynatrace apps spotlight season. We're putting the spotlight on the Salesforce Insights app. And with me, I have Klaus Enzenhofer who is driving this app. Klaus, thank you so much for being here. Really excited about this app. Tell us more about it, show it to us. Thanks Andy for having me and uh, love it that we have here this, uh, this uh, opportunity to talk about apps in particular. And here it's uh, the Salesforce Insights app. It has uh, a beautiful new app, very focused on particular users, this, namely the Salesforce admins, with the first use cases. Mm -hmm. We allow you to do core dynamic uh, stuff, like performance analysis, adoption analysis, login analysis, all these things. And we give this uh, to Salesforce admins in this very handy app. So all you need to care about is the app uh, and makes it from a user experience way easier to consume, to work with. And yeah, love it. That, but that's cool. I will... hey, Klaus, one, one quick question. So for people that are not aware of it, that means we are opening up with App Engine a lot of new opportunities to pull in data from external sources into Dynatrace Grail, into our storage system. And then apps also allow you to do things like, as you see here, as we see in the demo, analytics with a custom UI, but also I think you will show in the demo how to take this data and also use it for your own purposes, whether it's in a notebook, in a dashboard, you can then also mix, mix and match the data uh, with any of the other data points that Dynatrace has. So that's really exciting. Absolutely. And the key is we are also opening up for users beyond uh, the traditional Dynatrace users. As you can see, the last use case here, opportunity analytics, this is something and we are adding to this app as well. And Let's see it. In. Let's see it. Let's take a look at the app. Um, how do I get the app? It's pretty simple. Uh, you go and uh, in the new UI, you go to the hub. I already loaded it here. And within the hub, uh, you have underneath uh, business analytics, uh, all the business analytics apps together. And the Salesforce uh, Insights app is one of them. If you click it here, you can take a preview of what the app actually will look like and what it does. Uh, I'll show you so you don't have to read it now. And in this case, we already have the app installed. So we just uh, simply open the app here. Uh, really nice overview that we're getting here, but where's the data coming from? Like in, That's the beauty of our new platform very easily you can ingest data from external sources. In this app, we have uh, here this nice little UI that's all you give us is the credentials uh, to your uh, Salesforce instance from uh, which we can use to authenticate so that the data can be pulled from the Salesforce streaming API uh, to uh, bring it to Dynatrace. Also, this, these are the credentials that are being used uh, to uh, store the data within uh, within Dynatrace. You can select particular events that you're interested in, uh, depending on what you want to do, which use cases you want to drive. You just select what what, what you want to do. In our case, all is uh, set up already. Oh, got one one small thing, but important. No. Uh, Usually you have a staging and a production environment, but uh, for our larger customers that have multiple Salesforce instances, uh, you can uh, basically have here multiple configurations set up. Okay. Once you have this configuration set up and it does uh, the data ingest, is happening, you're getting this overview. You can quickly switch between the different uh, uh, data sets, the different uh, instances. I'll stick to my uh, demo. Uh, environment here. And you're getting then a nice overview. Login, always problematic. You see how many logins you have, how many are failing, where are they coming from? Helps you identifying unusual high numbers of logins, for example, uh, and 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 other, th other things. Performance analysis, always in, uh, important and key. Understand how fast does uh, the Salesforce, uh, how fast do the Salesforce uh, pages uh, load and also which pages are being adopted. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have activated it, you would uh, see here or and if there is a thread currently going on, you would also see here uh, the thread anomalies. All of that ready-made for you right in here. And the beauty is 
if you want to dig deeper, for example, into the logins, you can just go here and view and uh, see the result that makes up this uh, this particular chart that we looked at, or we can dive deeper into the raw data even. Just simply opening here the notebook and all we do is we remove here from the DQL these summarizations and delimiting uh, to just these two fields so that we uh, get to the raw data. And now we take it from the chart with a couple of clicks to the raw data, very simple, and you can dive into your login issue, uh, slice and dice as you want. This is really powerful. So Klaus, if I understand this correctly, we have the Salesforce Insight app, which is basically pulling data from Salesforce, from your Salesforce instance through the Salesforce API, ingesting it into Grail so that you have it available, like you see it here, as piece events. That means you can slice and dice the data, you can combine it with other data. And uh, the app itself, though, is already providing uh, out-of-the-box analysis views like how are your logins? Are certain things slow? Uh, which features are used? I think some really cool use cases that every Salesforce admin wants to analyze because Salesforce is a business critical app and therefore you want to make sure that the app is uh, working as expected and your colleagues are productive with it. Absolutely. And there is one use case uh, that we've heard over and over again uh, is, hey, uh, somebody's leaving the company. What did this person do? And uh, yeah, there is uh, Klaus, this uh, person that uh, just got fired. Oh no, Klaus. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what he did in the past couple of months, days, whatever you want to look at. Were there any uh, suspicious logins coming from? We know he is coming out of Austria. So yep, right here in the center of, uh, of the uh, a world map, we have uh, Austria. But over here, we also see like, hey, there was a report that he's running. May this be the, hey, export all my critical customer information. Mm -hmm. And again, he ran it quite a few times. And again, I can dig deeper. I can do this, this next step. I can go again into, I don't do it, but like mm -hmm. that. This uh, is just the beginning. This app is new new to you and I hope you will enjoy and derive a lot of insights right from here. Perfect. Klaus, last thing I would like you to do, go back to the hub just to show people that on the hub, this is where you find this app and also other apps, but today's spotlight was on the Salesforce Insights app. Um, really great to see and folks, if you watch this and you like this, install it, but also think about what else is going to be possible with Dynatrace, with App Engine, and all of the things Klaus has shown us as well, whether it's notebooks, whether it's dashboards, or workflows uh, powered by Automation Engine. With this, Klaus, thank you so much. I know we'll have you back thank you, for Andy. more apps. You can see a preview here already. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. See you.